Grafton high school and middle school students will head back to class on Tuesday, but it won't be at the Grafton complex. As we've reported, a fire in the electrical room of the complex in York County shut down, shut the school down for most of the week. York County public school officials say they can't reopen the Grafton complex just yet, so they're sending the high school students to York High School and the middle school students to Tab Middle School. They're going to be on a rotating schedule. At a public forum tonight, parents had a lot of questions about how exactly this plan is going to work. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott continues our coverage tonight. And Tamara, what kind of questions did those parents have? Well, Kayla, as you can imagine, it's no easy task merging four schools together in such a quick manner. But the school leaders today wanted to use the forum to be transparent in their decision making, which isn't easy. Questions like if teachers will still get their pay, they said yes, they will. Will students be able to volunteer or help out in the school on their days off? They don't know yet. Some parents found it very useful. Others say there's still a lot of work to be done. One Saturday night, parents and students from all over York County came together to learn more about the decision to transition schools after Grafton Middle and High School caught fire. This is definitely going to be an adjustment. County and school leaders wanted to create a safe space for understanding and questions as they all migrate to a temporary new normal. Everyone came with their own questions. Well, I think the biggest thing is just with the kids being off of school, trying to figure out how they're going to deal with making school work up and kind of dealing with the balance of after school activities and, you know, what's Tuesday going to be like for their first day. Michael Elric, who has students who go to Grafton, says issues of transportation and locking down a schedule made sense. I think they kind of provided some guidance on what the framework was for making their decision, so it was kind of helpful to see that process. But he still has some reservations. I'm still not 100% sure, I guess, how it's going to satisfy the state requirements for hours attend, days attend, and kind of what's going to happen once they get to the end point of the school being ready to go in, in May. School leaders say they've mapped and listed out how it works and students should still receive their appropriate education. Stacy Freights, a parent of a TAB middle schooler, believes only time will tell what works and what doesn't. I'm going to just see how smoothly it's going to go, but I think it was pretty helpful. She says she's not 100% sold, but is happy to see leaders working hard to help everyone understand and make it work the best they can. They did communicate that they're going to be constantly uh, sending us calls every other week, you know, constantly informing us of different changes. Now, school leaders say they will be holding more public forums as time goes on in order to help keep everyone on the same page and answer any questions that they can. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.